Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! Happy Thursday! All right, Chinooks, remember that this month we are in the month of innovation. So we are looking for you to be creative thinkers and thinking outside the box when we are solving problems. So put that to test because we're gonna be looking at the end of the month of nominating students that are being very innovative. So let's keep that up. And something exciting, tomorrow, several of you are going to be joining us for our read day. So we've made a couple changes to it. We hope you enjoy that you get a little bit more time with your teachers. So that should be great. And then we have another read day on the 17th. We also have no school coming up on the 20th. Okay, that is President's Day. So that will be a three day weekend for all of us. And that week we will go to school from Tuesday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And then Read Across America Week is right around the corner. That starts on the 27th of this month and goes until the 2nd of March. So we will be getting out um, one of our hometown app invites for you because everyone who wants to join us for curriculum night, we ask that you go ahead and get your free ticket online so we know you're coming and can order the right amount of food. There we go. Okay, <laughs> Chinooks, we are tracking some very important data. We're looking at our essential learning standards, we're looking at work completion, and we're also looking at our attendance. Are you here at school? So that attendance piece right now, I wanna give you some data to show you where we are at as of this week. This week, we are at 88% of all of our students attending 80% or more school days. We wanna see that increase. We wanna hit that 100 mark. We need you to be here at school. So if you need any help or if you need anything, let us know so we can help you get here at school. Yeah, because now if you miss one day in a week, you miss 25% of your whole week. Woo. That's a lot of school. So make sure if there isn't a reason you have to be gone, that you're here with us at school. Something exciting also. Yes. How many of you remember these? Oh, I do. Yep. Coming up in the next couple of weeks on the 20th, we are gonna start our big fundraiser. Remember, this is the fundraiser that helps us pay for all our school supplies at the beginning of each year. So we appreciate you taking the time to take this home, talking to your friends and family, and getting people signed up. And when you do, you get this neat little packet. And this year, there is a lion, which is rare, a giraffe. Do you say elephant. rare or rawr? I said rare. Oh, rare, sorry. <laughs> a giraffe, an elephant, a cheetah, a meerkat, and a crocodile. So let's see what we got today, Mr. What do we Wolf. have? Let's see. Mystery. Ugh. Oh, it's got legs. Oh, I got a meerkat. Meerkat. This was my favorite. Oh, super cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wear my nice little armband. You can get yours too. So join us with our fundraiser. Sounds fun. We have the food drive that's currently happening in all of our pods. So continue to bring in food and helping support our food pantry. That is amazing. Keep up that great work. Awesome. And for our trivia, we had a lot of people turn them in this week. So thank you for participating. Always okay. fun to see everybody's names on these papers. Oh man, there's a big stack of them. There's a lot. In here. There's a lot in there. All right, let's see who we got. Okay, we have Aaliyah in fifth grade, Miss O'Connors. There's a lot of work on this page, and she did horrible. Good job, Aaliyah. Excellent. And then I'm also going to pick one out of here. Another winner is Miss Alice. Come on down and pick those prizes out for our third through fifth grade. And then let's yeah. check out our kinder through second grade. Let's see, what did we get here? Okay. Green marker. Geniuses pick green. Nice job. Cora in Miss Clayton's room. I love the hearts. Yeah. Good job, Cora. Seven hearts on there. Those are some good items. And let's do another one. 
Ooh, we have Mr. Uh, Preston from Mrs. Oberg's class. Great job. I love seeing all of the different shapes you have on here. Some rectangles and some triangles. Fantastic. Come on down and pick those prizes out. And Miss Anderson, let's head on out and check out our new trivia this week. All right, those are gonna be exciting trivia to see roll in. Now, we have some winners. It's that time, it's that golden plunger time. So let's head on and find Mr. Adam Armstrong in our building and see who won that golden plunger. Huh, there's Mr. Armstrong. Let's see if we can catch up to him to figure out who won that golden plunger this week. So this week's gonna be second and third grade girls. <gasps> Second and third grade girls, woo! Way to rock it, keeping those bathrooms clean. Thank you so much. Yeah. And Mr. Wolf. Yes? Last week, Miss McDonald <coughs> escaped us. She sure did, and I couldn't find her all week, but I finally found her today. So let's go check in with Mrs. McDonald. Mrs. McDonald, where are you? Gosh, guys. I'm still looking for Mrs. McDonald. It's been one full week since I've seen her. Have you guys seen her anywhere? Huh, this looks interesting. Hello? Is anyone in there? Whoa! Mrs. McDonald! Hey, whoo! So glad we found you. Can you tell us a little bit about the golden tray this week? This week our golden tray winners are the second graders. Whoa! Good job, second graders. Very proud of you. Keep it going. Let's get you out of there. <laughs> All right, what about that book fairy? Ooh, book fairy. Well, she was busy in the library, cleaning away, getting those books organized for you all. So let's jump into the library and see what is happening. Shh, she's cleaning. Let's go check in to see who won the golden book this week. Hey, Mrs. T. Hello. Come on over. Oh. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You have to be quiet. Whoops. Just like Miss Weller's class. They got the golden ball. Yeah. <laughs> and our final the, golden backpack. The golden backpack. I'm glad you asked about that. Those pods are looking amazing and it was really tough. Fifth graders, you guys are doing an amazing job. First graders, I've seen a huge improvement. Kindergartens, Keep up that good work. My second graders, wow. Fourth graders, amazing. But you know what? This week, it's going to third grade. All right, third grade, keep it going. Nice work. And now, we've got some birthdays to celebrate. Birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Birthdays. We'll start off with our staff birthday, Miss Clayton. We hope you had an amazing day. Happy birthday. And on to our students. We have several this week. We have Lane in Miss Munn's room, Mila in Miss Cresset, Damon in Miss Hill, Elena in Miss Weller, Kenai in Miss Cresset, Braylon in Miss Johnson, Taba in Miss Wood, Riley in Miss Johnson, and last but not least, Autumn in this wood. Happy birthday to you all. And before Miss Anderson, I also want to uh, give a huge shout out to our kindness ambassadors for helping out yesterday. Uh, we had some walkthroughs happening uh, throughout our building and they were ready to go, holding the doors open, ready to talk in front of all of our audiences that we had. So thank you kindness ambassadors for being there for that. Yeah, and those kindness ambassadors, someone asked what all they do in this building and they listed so many things like being a good friend, holding doors. Uh, some said they pick up trays in the cafeteria, help with lunches, help with recess. You guys are doing some amazing work and we couldn't do it without you, so thank you. All right, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, we hope you have an amazing weekend and we will see you back here on Monday.